Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to start a new storied playlist on Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, I'll still be making videos for uh, Assassin's Creed Origins, uh, but I thought uh, only sing single gameplay and story uh, all time can get monotonous, right? For you guys and even for me, uh, single gameplay. Uh, can get monotonous so i thought i'll mix it up mix the content up with another game uh, i'll be doing both playlists parallelly so to keep things fresh right and what better game there is than rdr2 so people who are familiar with this game know what i'm talking about uh, if not then uh, i'll just tell you guys this uh, that uh, this game is on par with uh, like any game that you can think which is like top top shelf right this game is on par with that probably one of the best games ever made right so it also won i think got runner up runner up not one for best game of the year award uh, uh yeah uh, right uh, 2018 or 19 whenever this game was released and right, so this so this is one such game uh, and so i won't say much because i don't want you guys to go into the story with your minds pre-blown uh, but I'll just say this, uh, that this uh, uh, setup, the story is uh, around 18, uh, late 1800s in America. So very interesting time period. We know it was very eventful in that region during that time period. Right. So, okay. So without any further ado, let's just dive right in. Okay. These are uh, transitional uh, screens when the game is loading. Uh, they show these kind of black and white negative images yeah yeah no <laughs> this game is not black and white All right. Uh, okay. By 1899, the age of outlaws and gunslingers was at an end. America was becoming a land of laws. Okay. Even the West had mostly been tamed. A few gangs still roamed but they were being hunted hunted down and destroyed. Yeah, this is story of one such gang, Outlaws. Rockstar game presents. <laughs> this is like a beginning of a movie dude. The sound and even the opening credits kind of yeah. Crazy. This is going to be one hell of a journey. I'm excited. I'm very excited. Okay, horse driven carriages. I mean, I'm already loving this. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. The lights. Archer's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Lanterns. Hey. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. It's weather. It's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur. Any luck? And this is the guy we'll be playing. I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest, buddy. You know. An old man in town. Man, it ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Graphics are of highest level, man. Look at that. 
storm uh, how the lantern was showing uh, like glowing the ice uh, flakes snowflakes it was so realistic look at that even even now yeah phil hooker <laughs> that's an unfortunate name Okay, so they have found an uh, abandoned uh, place where they can rest. David Hind, Chris Vonho. What kind of names are this? Okay, they have vulnerable people like kids and old. Uh, Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Elderly. Miss Jones, bring in one of the blankets we have. They had to take rest. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. Oh. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we going to do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're going to stay here, and you were going to get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're going to ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Okay. This, this guy Come seems on. like the leader now, of had, this gang. Well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But, we're gonna ride out, and we're gonna find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. That was one hell of a speech, man. Very inspiring. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Well, it looks like they're running from or hiding from someone. Hey, Mr. Smith. Get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Uh, All right. We need you strong. So we'll okay. be playing Arthur Morgan. All right. Let's head out. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. Okay. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Okay, two more uh, people have been sent ahead to scout. Uh, Arthur was scouting uh, for immediate shelter for a nearby. So that's what he was scouting. There are two more people sent out to scout for any villages or something like that. So now they're going to look for any one of them. Uh, Careful over this bridge here. Okay, after you. Wow, this <laughs> this setup is so cool. This uh, place uh, at this in this weather. And look at that. I mean, yeah, it's a uh, terrible weather right though. But to me, son. don't want to lose you. Can't believe we lost Davy too. That. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, 
We'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. Yeah, that's what they always say. Shelter, that's a start. And what about the money? Please tell me you at least got the money before it all went to hell on that boat. We did. It's stashed with the rest of the money in town. It'll be safe for now. But we sure can't go back there to collect it anytime soon. Hey, I think I see something up the path. Okay. Okay, they're running from someone called the Pinkertons. So that's what we know till now. And they caught up in this storm. They got caught up in this storm. You up ahead. Who's there? Literally can't see anything. That's realistic. Not complaining. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. But something really terrible happened. Uh, you're all right, before this. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen yeah, John is the yeah, other fine. guy who Think was sent to scout ahead. Talk to Micah. You sure about this, Micah? Mr. Morgan, I never thought I would be so pleased to see your face. Been kind of lonely out here. Where's everyone else? Old mining camp back up the hill, huddled around a fire, waiting for daddy to put food on the table. Said it before, we got too many mouths to feed. Well, we got a few less now, so you should be happy. That ain't fair, Arthur. I earn my share. You think it's unreasonable to expect others to do the same? So, this house. You speak to the people there already? No. My judge told us. Look, but don't talk to no one. Just following orders. You know me. I'm a good boy. And the bad ones always say that. A good boy. I'm a good boy. How much further? Yeah, dude. Not far. What does that mean? Not far. Uh, thanks. Oh, goddamn, this snow gets right to the bone. Yeah. Some mountains there. Literally, literally can't see anything beyond that maybe there's mountains all around this maybe even this is also a mountain we don't know just can't see anything one of the Okay, that's the place they are going to okay. go looking for some food. Let's head down there. Anything, food or any supplies. Okay, you guys can read about the uh, hints that they give on game mechanics. Top left. Let's hitch up here. All right. Hold. Oh. 
Let me do the talking. We don't want to scare these folks. Sounds like quite the party. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Micah, hide behind that wagon. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of them. Okay. Dutch is going. Dutch, the leader, is going to talk. It seems. Hello. Shut up, really. Excuse me. Hello. Oh, well. Hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I. Well, we got into some trouble up the way. Lost in the storm. Ah, gentlemen. <laughs> we can't help you, mister. Come on, man. Folks, Arthur. On the trail. Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> well, look, there's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur, some there's a body in the wagon. I hear you. Just gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now, buddy. Okay. Looks like there's a dead body in that wagon. So... We don't know yet, but we'll just equip this uh, weapon or this revolver just in case there's some trouble for Dutch. Now, friend, I ain't asking for much. Please, I am kind of desperate. Hey, I don't believe it. Come here, partner. Come here. God damn Dutch Vanderlyn, you morons! Oh. Comb is gonna shit his pants! Put your hands up! They recognized him. Camera angle is oh, hi, door. What the f why did he get out? Took a shot. to catch him. oh nice didn't expect to shoot that far another gang called the O'Driscolls uh, that are like rivals to Dutch and his gang. Alright. We have to loot. Loot. Oh, you should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. Okay. How how this uh, health system in this game works is that there is a core system, so that's flashing heart is the core health core, and if it gets low, then Arthur will start losing energy. Uh, it is actions right, so that's how it works. So in order to keep the core uh, uh, like full or uh, to its level, uh, Arthur has to keep eating uh, every now and then. So that's how it works. 
right so now the core is empty so we're going to eat this and it will restore some of the health core slightly restores health core and stamina core okay, let's eat this all right uh, oh, good. i don't believe it it's a strain going all right Sorted maybe dude. they're hiding up here too there's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Oh. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Okay. Looks like they're a rival gang and uh, even the government is hunting for them also. Just like Dutch. Place is dry, warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. Okay. There's blood here actually. It's a uh, big old pool of blood on the floor here. I saw. It. Probably the poor bastard who lived here. I could found a dead body in the wagon outside. All right. Keep searching while I pack these on the horses. Hmm. Poor bastard was married to. Meet me out here when you're done. Okay. It's like this home was uh, belong to home belong to a couple. Uh, I think the husband or the other guy who died, uh, and they kept his body outside in a wagon. That's what our friend Micah noticed. So this Audrey Scholes is the rival gang, and uh, they 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 identified uh, Dutch, our gang leader. And that's why uh, the f firing started. So Audrey Scholes also came here to loot, uh, I suppose. food and some bullets some cash we got from there and what's that jewelry okay in the place yeah okay we got everything here yeah, that's all I guess Micah Arthur keep looking for stuff Arthur Where? Let's see if there's anything in that barn Micah you search the cabin see what we missed sure okay we still don't know where the wife went though. Maybe she escaped. The background score is amazing in this game. The last sound or music. I noticed it was so great. No oh, shit. Old mining camp southwest of here, near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're 
fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. No, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. Okay, we have a choice uh, to leave him or kill him. Let's. I don't like this, but I uh, think it's probably better to kill him because he might give away some information to his gang for the safety of uh, our gang members. We have to do it. So they know that. Dutch's gang is somewhere nearby, they can come for a raid. And there are people who can't defend themselves like children and old people in the gang. So okay, the horse was actually spooked, so yeah, he's calm now. Yeah. We got a new horse. We are practically stealing, but uh, I don't. Good. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. Tie him up over there, Arthur. Okay, so I don't see this family making use of any of the items uh, anymore. So it's not stealing. It just what? What the hell do you think you're doing? Why up there, Gaja? Leave her alone. Okay, this must be the wife. Oh. I think the whole place will now start to burn. We mean you no harm. Miss, please. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on. I would stay here for a bit though. It was it it'll be warm. You okay, Miss? They came three days ago. Oh. They bought us they, they Okay. They came back. Miss, you they are safe now. And I mean they came three days ago, then they probably would have uh, you come with us. Of course. Raped her multiple yes. times. It's okay. That is why she is hostile. Yeah, yeah, we are bad, but not them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, Miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I. He. He was my husband. Poor, poor family. Like they came and they instead of just uh, okay, they're just gang, fine, just like Dutch's gang. But they they torture the people they loot, like killing them and harassing, torturing them in whatever way they can for their own amusement. Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back. How'd you get on? Uh, Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Comb O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. Yeah. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? How come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. 
dark is resist and it was still a thing at, i guess at that time to call people dark and what not all right he ain't been seen in days whether it let up he's strong and he's smart strong at least hello arthur Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry, I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. He looked for me. Yeah, that's what matters. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> okay, so the other guy who was sent, in, who was sent to scout uh, is kind of lost and now they are going to search for him. One guy was Micah, he found that home and the other guy was John. John has not been seen. The storm is still there. Uh, look at that. Hey, I see some smoke. Come on, let's take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well? Okay. Seems somebody left. Recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on there. There's some tracks leading to the river. Okay. Where? We don't see any tracks. Scrubs. Now we see. Oh, these are the see tracks. Continue up that way. This waterfall. You think it's John? You wow. tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, no. just like Arthur, even the horse has uh, health and stamina well, kind of stats. We had the money, it seemed fine. And suddenly they were everywhere. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa. No, oh, I better. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Hey, stay on the I, I didn't do that. The horse lost balance. Okay, so, so in the small talk, they always talk about what happened and the backstory. We get so much uh, details from this small talk. Wow. Tracks go left down here. Davy got shot. Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Okay, so they're, they're talking about something tragic. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. Okay. Something actually terrible happened to this gang previously. So that's what uh, they, they're talking about. And that is why they are on the run. So this game also we can do this cinematic kind of view where the horse will automatically travel the road. And we can watch that in different cinematic kind of uh, angles. Like that. 
Okay, and when we want to take 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 back the control of horse, we have to exit cinematic view. Come on, boy. Wow. Horse struggle. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. Uh, I don't know about this, Javier. We, we can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. horse is getting tired wow <laughs> Avalanche, no. Snow is so loose, right? It can trigger an avalanche. All right. Okay, someone was uh, calling for help. He heard that, so it, it worked actually for him. Must be John. So, so how this works in this game is uh, Arthur can have multiple weapons of the same type like sidearm. He, he has two, but can only carry one at a time. So other one will be inside his horse. So right now he has this revolver. So my uh, who's uh, Javier wants him to equip the shotgun. So let's put this back and get the shotgun. Yeah. All right. Keep in his pocket. Wow, the <laughs> landscape and everything, it's crazy. Are you serious? No. Are you sure about this? Okay, never mind. It's coming from this way. Okay. Careful here. Dude, this is so crazy, man. You're telling me. <laughs> wow, look at that. Oh my god. Drops down here. Watch yourself. Okay. Watch out here. That's the snow that's that's going to fall on the towns below. Crazy, crazy. Up here. Wow. Come on. Come on. That sounds closer now. Come on. Okay, we're getting closer. Much better. Much better here, though. It's a few days. I know. Here, take a drink of this. Thanks. I'm not designed for this snow. Let's keep moving then. Come on. Okay. John. Okay, that drink actually restored some of the stamina. Okay. That's John. We're coming. That was there. 
nearby. He's down here. Down here. That's quite a scratch you got there. Wow. Never thought I'd say this. God, look at that. Good to see you, Arthur Morgan. Like, did he like fall from top and fall on his face on these rocks? You don't look so like, good. That's what I, I thought when I was first name. playing this first time this game. Freezing. Mm. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry side? Can't argue with you there. See? I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. Uh, you all right? I think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. Wow. Again. Oh. Look up there. <laughs> the wolves are like, yeah, we got we got food. Calling for backup. Bring the whole pack. We have three healthy humans. Okay, keep the wolves away from Javier. Maybe we are going to distract them. Let's try not to kill them. Hey, hey, here, here. Don't go there. Yeah. This wolf looks like he's going to eat us. Oh, they're bigger, man. They're Sorry, bro. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Mommy. Oh, God. Crazy man, this. Okay, I hesitated to kill them uh, because, uh, yeah, I thought. Let's try not to kill animals as much as possible, but I guess we have to kill them. All right, we'll try from last checkpoint. I don't like killing animals unnecessarily, so I thought maybe we'll just distract and run around and then. Oh, then. Yeah, it's impossible. Wolves, wolves are natural predators. Uh, even the best of humans are not. No match. So, dude. Oh, not again, not again, not again. Get on this. You have chance to run, bro. You are alone. Yeah, he's determined. Fine. Die, you beautiful creature. Okay, let's get going before any more of these bastards show up. Come on, then. Let's get back to the others. I think we got bit <laughs> in the arm, left arm. You'll be fine. It's just like a, a dog bite. Uh, I knew a fella got bit by a dog. He died an hour later. You ain't gonna die. Not yet. Literally can't see anything. We'll just let him go first and follow him. More coming down the hill. Oh. Right or left? 
О, вот. I wish. Yeah, good idea. We're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving, then they're getting eaten to death. Ain't good enough for you. Let's cross to the left. I wish there was another way to complete the quest, not to kill the wolves, but run away, sneak away. Poor animals. I don't like to kill them. I hate when the game forces us to kill them. Give another, give another option for those who want to take the non-violence path. We get some help. We need some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. Right, here we go. There we go. Ay, careful, idiotas, it's his leg. Come on, let's get you warm. Thank you, thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. If you and Dutch talk about how we're gonna get out of this. I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks, I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That's civilization. I know. The West is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Moggy. <sighs> okay. No, no, no sympathy. No help for We've Arthur. We've been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait to thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. Okay. I guess uh, he was he was patched up. Someone patched him up. We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. Okay. But we're it's safe here. Warm sure. enough. I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. What do you think, Arthur? Well, I wasn't on that boat, so hard to say. But I trust your judgment, Dutch. Always have. Thank you, son. We have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. I hope not. We had a bit of bad luck. But then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit. And we go back to Blackwater, and we get our money, or we get some more money, and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. We got this. We're safe. Stay strong, Jose. What about you, Arthur? You doubt me, too? No, sir. Never. Good. Because you know me, son. I'm just getting started. Once we get some money, well, they... They better send some good men after us, because they ain't never gonna find us. But we need money. Of course, Dutch. Who doesn't? Thank you, son. For your strength. It means a lot to me. Alright. Okay. Just uh, wrap the video here, but before that, I'd like to show you guys something. I'm not interested in that. Sit door. 
all right uh, arthur writes right so whatever happens he makes a journal and he writes so let's uh, i think we, there is about 10 pages to read so let's just go through this uh, journal of his and get some hint on wh what has happened get some details of back story right They they are they talk right, but it's not uh, enough. I feel so. Let's just read a backstory. Okay, he's also a good drawer, draw uh, artist. There's no nothing called. Draw. Okay, fine. Uh, whatever. All right. Uh, we can read either like this or uh, like this. So I'll try reading from the book. If not possible, then I'll read that. I bought this new journal after the last one. After the last one got destroyed. in that fire all those months ago whenever it was okay it's uh, difficult i'll read from here okay uh, black water i bought this i bought this new journal after the last one got destroyed in that fire all those months ago whenever that was haven't written or drawn much in the past few months but i was missing it more than i thought i would and finally near a store so here i am i guess After all that business up north and the fire, we spent a few months in the wilderness, traveling back down to the North Grizzlies. This is like way before, guys. Way before uh, the current time. So, yeah. Okay, looks like it's a continuation. What was the last sentence? Traveling down from the Northern Grizzlies. stuck mostly in the western foothills of the mountains during the worst of the winter food was easy to find and life was good dutch had a lead for some land we were going to buy but the land did not match up to his criteria or he got spooked we were being watched by the law and that somebody knew he, who he was and we never bought it and we are still wandering we picked up a couple of new folk in the grizzlies okay so this is how their uh, gang grows they recruit new members constantly like now they recruited this woman whose husband died and uh, she is going to uh, it's her choice she can either stay or leave but uh, this is how they recruited basically okay jenny a sweet young girl we met abandoned on the roadside and maika and outlaw dutch an outlaw dutch met in a bar some place okay maika is the one who scouted that uh, home uh, the first uh, quest we did right the that that is the guy who was uh, who is maika so he's is a fairly new recruit that uh, seems very taken with maika who is pretty hot headed argumentative and full of himself hosea and i are less sure guess we shall see eventually we came out of the wilderness and are now hold up outside of black water although sometimes i stay in town hunting for opportunities Okay. I might be onto something. We got plenty of money, and the trail we took was so tortuous and slow. Nobody could have followed us south and east, or figured out where we was heading. We was thinking about California, but then Dutch and Jose brought us down to Blackwater. Okay. So this is all way before current time. Okay. We have to read that. Blackwater was apparently. sorry black water has apparently grown a whole lot since any of them was last here i was told to expect a little more than a trading post but the place is growing fast and it's almost a small city the town seems to be riddled with corruption but there's certainly plenty of money here it's good to be sleeping in a bed from time to time and living a more civilized life after so long under canvas but i do not particularly like being this near to a town Okay, now they got. Uh, at some point, they settled uh, in a s small city called Blackwater, on the outskirts of it. And yeah, we are living here, camping outside town mostly, hidden in plain sight. I guess life seems pretty easy. Abigail and Marston keep arguing. I wonder why exactly he came back. He cannot seem to decide if he wants to be a father to that boy of his or not. Okay, so Abigail's son. Uh, I mean, he's Abigail has a son with John, right? So I think John left at some point, and that is why we keep here hearing Arthur uh, uh, 
like say jo- john is a sorry side to see and constantly berating him arthur is upset about with john i think about this he left abandoned his son and abigail i think at some point earlier okay now he's back fine the arguing is exhausting i hear talk of a man sounded like trelawney but we haven't seen him for a, for many months okay so this is all like important events that arthur has uh, ma- made a note of hosea and i are on to something something pretty big might be a lot of cash coming in to do with a real estate scam hosea thinks he may have discovered i'm not sure yet the perfect crime we think one where we rob crooks we are being real careful okay so hosea is the guy who was talking to dutch just outside the here of this room near the fire and hosea and arthur have uh, earlier had discovered uh, this real estate scam and uh, they're going to rob the crooks who who are doing scam right so they felt it's a perfect crime because they are not robbing the good people they are robbing the bad people so yeah, that's what they found and yeah it's fun working with hosea again the man is a artist is an artist of nonsense uh, even if nothing comes out of it we are having an amusing enough time okay so it's like arthur likes uh, hosea really working with hosea really all right it's good to be running scams again hosea is a born huckster he is getting anxious worried by lingering in town worried that ling- sorry he is getting anxious worried that by lingering in town lingering in town we are going to bring undue attention to on ourselves but dutch thinks he is also onto something big his words not mine bank money being brought in by boat apparently so for now we are working on both things and seeing what happens okay so dutch also has some plan to steal bank money that was being brought on a boat plan is to flee west into the desert country some place if we can so this is how they lived so they usually they uh, planned something big and did some heist or scam or stole of government banks and what not and then uh, laid low for rest of the year and then when again they needed money they they planned scams again they went near towns then uh, so they they are like this is how they live they are outlaws basically uh, so they never went back to the towns they scam because the law was looking for them <coughs> all right mica and dutch are planning to rob the ferry in town they think it's laden with riches cash coming in for the banks coming in by boat for once i am not getting involved in the job hosea and i are too taken up with our business which i believe could go very well and dutch seems confident that the confident with the group assembled all will be okay okay so they're going to do both they're going to uh they're going to dutch and his gang are, are going to rob the boat and also he parallelly uh, arthur and uh, hosea are doing their own thing with a real estate scam so once they did both uh, their they plan to flee the town all right so plan is for them to carry out the job then flee into the wilderness out of the west the next day hosea and i will carry out our scam and join them that seems happy and excited he's talking again about california but he's also talking about a lot of other places all right okay, yes. you guys want to look at it some horse looks like unfinished drawing okay we have been running for weeks i mean running more than usual the job they were pulling in black water robbing that ferry it turned into a disaster young jenny got killed poor thing while well, shawn and mac both got arrested or killed nobody seems sure which okay so they lost some people and some got arrested as well maybe they got caught dutch shot a girl i'm not sure if by accident or design and seems like it might have been a setup we took to the hills in an almighty scramble leaving money and most of our things behind okay so now it starts to make sense what happened so they failed in the bank robbery and now they had to run and 
that is when I think they ran into this mountain and got caught into the storm. All right. Then, as we were fleeing east over the grizzlies, the mountains, an almighty storm hit us. Davy Callender, who had got shot in the gut on the raid, passed away. It was brutal to watch. Okay, I think this is what he writes uh, in this camp. Okay, this is what he has written now. Uh, like, uh, we started the game when Davy was injured, and people were like, "He's going to die. We have to find shelter soon." And uh, they found the shelter, but. Uh, meantime he died Davy that's the guy who died uh, in the prologue okay so it was brutal to watch and the rest of us nearly froze but we found shelter and have been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we await the thaw all right so RIP Davy camp Coulter, the current camp Okay, hardly. Okay. I think the top uh, 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 title he writes is the name of the place. Before he was writing Blackwater, and now he writes Coulter. All right. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. Hosea and I have been planning to. Sorry, Hosea and I had been planning a robbery of our own in Blackwater, but I guess that's been abandoned along with most of what I owned. I'm profoundly concerned as to what happens next. Once we leave this place or the law finds us scoring up here uh, found a girl well a woman i should say her husband had been murdered by some of comb or driscoll's boys nasty business okay okay you're familiar with that so yeah all right so i'm not going to read the journal much from now on because uh, whatever he writes is whatever uh, already happened he's going to make a note so we're not going to read it i just read this while because uh, i thought it will be useful to get some uh, details on the backstory. All right, and let's check the map and then wrap this episode up. Okay, so this is uh, the map. Most of it looks uh, like unexplored. Maybe it'll show more when we be to that place. Uh, this is the camp, and I, I believe uh, this is the house where. Uh, they rescued uh, Mrs. Adler from Audrey's Colts and uh, this is where uh, we rescued John from the wolves. So yeah, I think more more of the map will show as we explore. All right, I just wanted to show you guys that, and uh, I'll wrap this video here. Uh, yeah, there's nothing much. Uh, uh, there is actually some things to say but I, I guess uh, it will be better if I uh, do it in next video next video when I will be doing stuff actually so I will be uh, talking about it as I do it so let me wrap this video here and I believe uh, that uh, it's uh, yeah it's it's uh, if we start the next trigger the next uh, quest it will take us uh, a whole lot further into the story right so yeah I think this is the best place to um, wrap it up here uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all next time